Getty David Davis has sparked outrage among Brexiteers over freedom of movement. The Brexit secretary hinted that new arrivals from Europe might become eligible to apply for full UK residency even if they have not lived in the UK for five years as previously promised by Theresa May. Mr Davis seemed to suggest that EU citizens would also be free to live and work in the UK for two years after Brexit in March 2019, according to The Sun. But the move sparked outrage among colleagues who felt betrayed at the Uton. Threatened to split the Conservative Party right down the middle. Jacob Rees-Mogg hit back telling the Sun they expected us to take back control of our borders in 2019 not that would have to wait until 2021. He added that the government's timid and cowering approach risks squandering the potential gains of leaving the EU. Nigel Farage chimed in and wrote on Twitter is David Davis saying we will have freedom of movement until 2021. If so, that's not acceptable. Following Mr Davis's speech, experts predict that it could open the floodgates for up to a million more migrant workers from Europe to travel to Britain in a bid to stay. Migration Watch warned that at least a million or more EU immigrants could take advantage of the government's generosity and open borders. Getty Jacob Rees-Mogg and Nigel Farage both took issue with the suggestions by David Davis. Some MPs threatened to oppose any Brexit legislation that the government unveiled in a bid to stop the plan. Mr Davis said that the UK may also have to listen to the judgment of the European Court of Justice until 2021 and abide by EU rules. Yet despite upsetting his colleagues with his speech in Middlesbrough, Mr Davis attempted to play down cabinet rifts over Europe. He insisted there was no difference between himself, Chancellor Philip Hammond and Theresa May on the outcome they are seeking from Britain's EU withdrawal. Twitter Nigel Farage hit out at David Davis on Twitter. Mr Davis said, there is no difference between the Chancellor and myself and indeed the Prime Minister in terms that we both want a Brexit that serves the British economy and serves the British people. There will be arguments about the tactics but they will change the options available to us will change throughout the course of the negotiations. Mr Davis used a speech in T-Sport to try to quell unease in Tory ranks, asserting that the UK will be able to negotiate and sign trade deals with outside countries during the two-year transition period following the official date of Brexit in March 2019. But a Tory rebellion could be brewing against Mrs May and her Brexit team. According to Reckon MP Mark Pritchard, writing on Twitter, Mr Pritchard said, no major revolt on the Tory backbenchers. However, there is a growing frustration that number 10 is not plugged into the views and opinions. Many backbench MPs are even interested. His warning comes amid reports that a number of MPs have taken the step of writing to the chairman of the backbench 1922 committee calling for a leadership contest.